Hello everyone, this is Stefan. Welcome back for another video. So Apple just released a new software update for all the supported devices from iPhone 6s that we have here all the way to the iPhone 13, 13 Pro, 13 Pro Max. So very interesting software update. And this is the iPhone AC first generation, which still works amazing. So let me know in the comments down below if you still have this uh, interesting popular iPhone. So the software update is actually I was surprised because on an iPhone 6s, the software update was about 280 megabytes. So very on different devices. As you can see on an iPhone SE first generation is about one gigabyte, which this is quite a lot in my opinion. But uh, yeah, this is interesting software update fixes some issues some problems so let me know in the comments down below if you had any issues with your iphone ac first generation the, the update doesn't bring new features if you see a one in the end of the software update means that this is a bugs problem uh, fixes all the issues all the problems so quite interesting to see if you had any issues with this iphone ac first generation as you can see uh, I updated a few hours ago, so it's running the latest version, which is quite interesting to see this small compact iPhone. And I still can't believe that people still using this iPhone. I love it. Compact, small design. But let me know if you had any issues. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments down below. So nearly one gigabyte. Uh, the software update, uh, many people was complaining that they had some issues and problems with the Wi-Fi, with the 5G, also with the display as well. Some iPhone 13 users had some problems with the iPhone 13, 13 Pro. I didn't have any issues on my iPhone 13 Pro. But let me know in the comments down below if this is the case for you. I can't believe that this is the last year of the uh, Apple support for iPhone 6s and AC first generation. I think many people will be sad to see these two iPhones uh, finally going, but we'll see. Maybe Apple will surprise us and leave the iPhone AC first generation and the S and the 6S for at least one more year. But this is going to be a surprise to see. But let me know in the comments down below if you had any issues with your iPhone AC first generation. And this iPhone still runs strong in 2022. The only problem obviously is going to be the battery for many people because the battery on this iPhone is not massive. It's not big. This is not a one day uh, experience. I believe many people had like maybe four hours. If you if you get four hours screen on time on this iPhone, this is going to be a miracle. But the most I got is like three hours, which again, small battery, but still works in 2022 latest version. I love it. I love it. So let me know in the comments down below if you had any issues with your iPhone AC first generation. It still works. Any problems with the software? Any problems with the slowdown battery? Let me know in the comments down below. So Apple released this software update because many people was complaining they had issues. The iPhone AC first generation was working fine. No problems whatsoever. But let me know, maybe you had any issues with your AC first generation. So if you have any question, please leave it in the comments down below. Also subscribe and like uh, for more cool videos. So let me know in the comments down below again, how many people still using the AC first generation. I think I know people still using, uh, so my friends still using the AC first generation, but let me know. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.